Here's how you can start using Merry and Bright presets. I'll start with showing you how to install them to your desktop and then I'll show you how you can install it straight to your mobile. So this is a download page, click download. It's going to open up a zipped folder and it's going to have a funny name but you can just delete that. Let's start in Lightroom Classic. The easiest way is to go into the develop module and then navigate over here to the plus symbol. Hit import presets and you can see that the zipped file has been extracted. We're going to click this first folder here called install to desktop. There's actually a zipped folder in here. You can actually install it straight as a zipped file. This is going to be the best way for you. So hit import and it should automatically come up. And it's as easy as that. That's how you install it into Lightroom Classic. Let's go over to Adobe Lightroom. We're gonna go over here to this edit module, then the presets panel. And instead of clicking the plus symbol, we're gonna click the three dots and hit import presets. We're gonna do the same thing. We're actually gonna go into the install to desktop and we're gonna just click the zipped file. Inside the zipped file is also your mobile presets. And with Adobe Lightroom, it's going to automatically sync over to your phone and you'll be able to use them on your mobile photos. If for some reason you're not seeing some of the presets come up, make sure you click the three dots and uncheck hide partially compatible presets. We want to make sure all of them are seen for you. Before you paste on the preset, make sure you always adjust the exposure and the white balance to what you would like first, and then you can go ahead and add on which preset you believe looks the best. To download Merry and Bright presets straight to your phone, make sure your Lightroom app is all up to date. Click the download button, and depending on what kind of phone you have, it's going to open up in either your downloads folder or you immediately open up to your files. Here on my iPhone, it has gone into my downloads folder. It has a funny name, but don't worry about that. Um, you can unzip it this way and you can see it's called Athena and Cameron Merry and Bright. Now we're just going to focus on this second folder called Install to Mobile. You can see there are the three presets here. These are just the mobile presets. If you need the desktop presets too, you'll need to go to your desktop and use the first folder to install that zipped file straight to your Lightroom desktop. Now for Lightroom Mobile, all you need to do is click select and then select them all. And we're going to open them up in the Lightroom app. Here on my iPhone, you can see I can click the Lightroom symbol, but if you can't find it there, scroll over, click the three dots, and make sure that the Lightroom app is toggled on to open a file with. Hit Launch Lightroom now. The DNG files will open up in your Lightroom app. DNG files simply mean that we've pasted the presets already onto these three images, so you can use these presets to simply create your own. Let's start with Gingerbread Soft. You're going to click presets, the three bubbles in the top right, and click create preset. We're going to name it gingerbread soft, and let's create a new preset group. I'm going to call mine Athena and Cameron, Mary and Bright. This part is very important. Make sure that masking, optics, and geometry are unselected, and very importantly, make sure you go into light and unselect exposure, and go into color and unselect white balance. Then click the tick. And you're going to do the same thing for the other two. Now all three presets are installed. An important tip for editing with our presets, and really any mobile presets, is that it's really important to first adjust the exposure in case your image is underexposed or overexposed, and the white balance in case your image is too cool, too warm, too green, or too pink. A helpful way to do this is to just click Auto. Sometimes Lightroom can guess it for you. And then once you're happy with the white balance and the exposure, then you can go in and try the presets, gingerbread, let it snow, and pumpkin pie. And then after that, you can adjust accordingly with simple tweaks in contrast, color, and other simple tweaks that look good on your image. We had a lot of fun creating these mobile presets, and we hope that you absolutely love using them. We hope that you enjoy your Thanksgiving, your Christmas, and everything in between. And from us to you, Happy New Year.